What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Trading Learning 101 and I am back. It's good to be back. I am well rested. My funds are almost ready to trade. Uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, I've been missing for the past little over a week. No, I didn't blow up my account. No, I didn't take a huge loss and said screw the stock market. I'm done with it. I just I needed to take a break and going at this for over a year non-stop just grinding and grinding and grinding full force at it learning this going full force opening my YouTube you know reaching out trying all this other stuff I got burnt out I really did and I needed to take a step away uh, it's August, one of the slowest months in the year for trading. So while it was slow, I said, all right, you know what? I'm in the middle of switching brokers. Let's just take a week off, reset my mind, get some well rest. I got to sleep in a few days and just hit the reset button on my brain and my body. I really felt it with working, you know, 12 hours a day at my job and then doing the stock market in between that. So it was a very well, well rest that was needed. And now I'm ready to go back at it. So I hope you guys are all ready to go. Just go full force at it. I'm ready to go. I did switch brokers. Now, I did make a, a, a video last Saturday to give you guys an update. On what was going on because I haven't doing haven't been doing any market recaps weekly recap I didn't even do and I, I just haven't been making any videos because I've been in the middle of switching brokers and taking a week off from trading and just the stock market in general I mean I every day I would look on uh, Twitter or I would look on the biggest percentage gainers to see what was going on but I didn't actually sit down and look at charts. I just, I pretty much just shut everything down and just took a well rested, needed, needed time off. I really needed that. And after going at it just hardcore and full force, just running on three, four hours of sleep a day for over a year, it really caught up with me really quick. And like I said, it's really nice to just hit that reset button on your mind and your body and just take a week off and sleep in and just not even have to worry about the market for a moment. But I'm good to go now. Uh, just to give you guys a little recap, I took all my funds out of TD Ameritrade. Uh, I, I've been with TD Ameritrade for over a year. So I wanted to branch out and see what else was out there. I was originally going to sign up with TradeStation. TradeStation really wasn't working out. I wasn't feeling them in a way because I, I just didn't like how they were charging for all of this stuff like market data, level 2. There was just all these fees that you would have to pay for and I wasn't really, I really wasn't too excited to do that, you know. Uh, coming from TD Ameritrade, you know, where I was only paying commissions to go into TradeStation where I was paying for NASDAQ quotes, New York Stock Exchange quotes, OTC quotes, level two, just just too much, you know, and getting frustrated with that and then blindly opening and opening an E-Trade account just to open an account because just to get going and then I wasn't able to get access to the uh, E-Trade Pro, you know, even when I offered them a hundred dollars a month to have it they still wouldn't give it to me they just uh, I just didn't feel welcomed at E-Trade I would say and E-Trade uh, I was really looking forward to using the E-Trade Pro and they wouldn't give it to me and the only platform they had for trading was the option house and the option house in my opinion was just horrible looking it was garbage it was like everything was crunched up together real tight and just thrown in there. For a day trader, it's it was just a nightmare. And I didn't even want to attempt to even do that. 
but I had my funds in that account. So then I had to wait for my funds to settle in E-Trade. And then I had to transfer it out of E-Trade, which takes a couple days. And over to my brand new broker here. So I finally found my brand new broker and uh, my trading platform. This is it right here. You guys are looking at it. I'm like, very, very excited to start trying this out and getting into it. And I think you guys will love it as well. In my opinion, this is a huge upgrade from the Thinkorswim platform. And I am already falling in love with this platform and what it can do and what it has to offer. What it is, is without further ado, it is I switched over to Charles Schwab. And this is the, the Street Smart Edge trading platform. And this is it right here for you guys. And I got another window right here. Let me see if I can pull it over. Right here with multiple time frames. And I just love this platform so far. Just trying it out. Just digging in and just setting it up. I just love it. With, with the one thing I didn't like about Thinkorswim was when you were looking at their charts. It was like everything was really blurry on their charts when it was zoomed out like this you would have to zoom in really close to really get a good look at the candlesticks and with this I can zoom out pretty good and you guys can pretty well see the candlesticks and the actual candlesticks of these on the charts it's just beautiful I love how simple this is I just love this platform I, I just gotta say that this is my opinion you gotta remember this this is an upgrade from Thinkorswim. It really is. Even though Thinkorswim was free, this is still free. The Street Smart Edge is a free platform for the most part. You got to open an account with them, but if you don't use their account and trade with it, they charge you it's like $50. It's either $50 a quarter or for the year if you don't use their brokerage and trade with this platform fifty dollars you know you can't beat it I'm not paying any uh, level two quotes I'm not paying any NASDAQ quotes New York Stock Exchange all that OTC all that's free included with this and this does have direct market access and what I also do love about this too is the cut it has the customization on it they have the level two right here you can customize the colors you can customize the charts you can customize the watch list you can customize everything on here that's what I really like about this the customization on it the way it looks the only downside to it is if you're like into your technicals and all that they don't really have that many studies uh, I'll pull up their studies right here. Let me see for you guys. I will do a, a product review of this. I'm just giving you guys an update video on where I'm at. The new broker that I have and the new platform that I'm going to be trading on. I will start up trading. Not this week. I'm making this video actually Thursday morning at 4 a.m. I'm going to say my funds will be settled at Charles Schwab and ready to go next Monday. So next Monday will be, what, the 27th of August. So right at the end of August, last Monday of August, I will be ready to go and rock and roll. And getting out of one of the, the slowest trading months of the year, just going into red hot October you know and uh what was I gonna do I was gonna go into the should be up here view all studies so these are all the studies that they have right here not really too many to choose from compared to thinkorswim thinkorswim had like almost 300 studies you could pick from I'm a type of trader I really only rely on volume and price action I need to have my moving averages, 
the 50, the 200 day, and my exponential moving average, the 13 EMA, and the VWAP. That's all I that's all I need and they have all that right here the volume weighted average exponential moving average and just your moving average wherever that would be these are only the selected moving average or studies that you can apply to your charge your charts but it does get rid of a lot of the unnecessary studies you know thinkorswim had a lot of just bogus studies on their uh on their platform like like the Tim Williams percentage pivot like what the heck is that it's just I don't even know what I really really like about this platform I'm just gonna say this it's just the simplicity of it it's not too complicated but it's enough it's enough for you to do good I mean there's all kinds of stuff with this they got the new streamer they got a stock screener um if i come to the launch tools here they have i can add notes to this uh they have cnbc tv etf screener a high and low ticker thing here uh, a screener plus for sectors all your charts that you can do like uh, the one i just pulled up earlier I had the five minute, the fifteen minute, the hourly chart, and then I had the daily chart. Um, they got the market edge, momentum news, research, watch list, web browser. They got a web browser right there to look up, I guess, on the internet. But this is a downloaded platform that you download to your desktop and you just launch it up like the Thinkorswim platform. And then what I also really like about this, let me bring this over for you guys can see. I just have my face covering up right here because I haven't figured out how to cover it up yet. But right here where my face is would is where my uh, account number is. And I just don't want to show that to you guys. This is the market depth right here. And it just displays all your information right here. You have the level two and then you would have the time and sales right here. And like I said, you just simply right click on this and you can customize it the way you would want, you know, like the colors of how the level two is set up and the times and sales. You can set the colors up for that as it displays. And what I really like is it displays the full number of the shares that are on the bid at that price or on the ask at that price. And with Thinkorswim, they were always missing that extra digit. So like a thousand shares would show up as a hundred. On here, it will sh actually show you the thousand. So if a big 20,000 buyer pops up on the bid, it will show 20,000. Just, just so I could visually see, you know, the numbers on this. And it just hit four o'clock. So now that SPY just fired up and started going. I just literally downloaded this like two days ago the past couple nights when I got off of work I've just been hopping on it and checking out and seeing what's new on here just clicking around and discovering it and setting this up on how I like it right now I'm setting it up you know on just like how I had it set up on thinkorswim the more I get into this the more I learn I will probably do another video on this leave a dis leave a comment down below as in down below and tell me what you guys think of this uh, trading platform there are not many videos on YouTube of this at all and when I did look up videos on YouTube of the street smart edge there was videos from seven eight years ago and I really don't see why people you know don't use Charles Schwab in this trading platform because so far from what I've seen you know, it's a really, really great platform. It really is. And how I found this was by another trader. If you guys are into watching other traders on YouTube, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's one of Timothy Sykes' old students, and that is Roland Wolf. I was watching a, uh, a recent video of his recently, and I was he had a chart popped up, and he was going over it. And he had a few, full view like this. 
and I'm like wow that's a really clean chart and you can really see the volume and you know the candlesticks and I just simply commented uh, what trading platform is that and he commented Street Smart Edge and I looked it up and it was Charles Schwab and I looked into Charles Schwab and I just fell in love with it and I said that's the one you know because I was having the complicated issues at E-Trade I wasn't sure about TradeStation and I didn't just want to go back to think or swim I wanted to try something else branch and grow as a trader and see what else is out there and it just goes to show you there's always something around the corner you just gotta search and search and discover that's all it takes and what it took for me was watching another trader you know and asking him what trading software he was using and he told me and I looked it up looked into it and fell in love with it what's really cool too about this is the commissions at Charles Schwab is only four ninety five you know at TD Ameritrade when I first started I was paying seven dollars for per trade at over time I finally got it down to four ninety five but right out of the gates with Charles Schwab you're paying four ninety five for commissions and I believe options is four ninety five too I'm not sure about that but four five bucks you know to buy five bucks to sell that's that's pretty cool in my opinion right now just waiting for the next couple days for my funds to finally settle in Charles Schwab and I should be starting up Monday uh, trading with Charles Schwab and this platform starting right now when I upload this video I am back in action um, I will not be in the market on Thursday or Friday as I'm just taking the rest of this week off and I'm just gonna start pumping videos out the next couple days and over the weekend over the weekend on Saturday I will do a weekly recap to prepare myself for the upcoming week um, I will try to do a live stream on YouTube and the Facebook group Trading Learning 101 so if you guys are interested join on in it will be Saturday at noon I'm gonna try to do that every Saturday now at noon so if you guys wanna see what the market did the previous week and prepare for the upcoming week and wanna study ask questions and see what the market did you know feel free to join in and comment learn and grow and you know let's have fun you really gotta be passionate for this and I really am and I live and breathe the market I really do I live and breathe it all the time and if you're just like that make sure you hit that subscribe button because you know you'll notice I'm always posting videos on here I wanna reach out I wanna talk to you fellow traders about what's going on in the market you know and share ideas about the market and share ideas about charts and just really see how it's really interesting on how every other trader how traders every trader is different and every trader sees the chart differently and when you start talking all together you really get different perspectives on how people look at charts and that only helps you too grow as a trader for when you're looking at charts you're thinking about what other traders are looking at as well I'm glad to be back guys I'm trying not to make this too long for you guys and that's another thing comment down below am I making these videos too long for you guys if so comment just leave a comment I'm always open to feedback and I'm always looking to get better I wanna try to give you guys the best the best out there and the best that I can so the only way I can get better is from your guys's feedback uh, I don't have sensitive feelings so you know whatever you don't like comment whatever you like comment I will work to improve that and make these videos <clears throat> the best I can for you guys it's been a long journey so far since I have started doing this YouTube thing and I'm learning more and more and more every time I make one of these videos that's it for this one guys uh, I'll see you guys next video I'm glad to be back and I'm excited to try out this new trading platform I'm sure you guys are gonna love seeing these videos with these with this new charting 
layout. I wish I had a picture. Let me see if I can pull one up real quick. Just to show you guys the difference between the chart of Thinkorswim and Street Smart Edge. This is this is Thinkorswim right here. And you see how blurry that is? And that is the one minute. And that zoomed out in two days. Alright? Now this is Street Smart Edge. Uh, I mean that's two days right there, including you know pre-market and after hours right there. If you zoom in, and then you just scroll. I don't know. I think I personally think it looks way better than Think or Swim. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. You know I care about what you guys think. Let me know. Do you guys like the Street Smart Edge trading platform or do you like the Thinkorswim platform? They're both free, but Street Smart Edge is kind of not free. You've got to pay like $50 a quarter if you're not active in a Charles Schwab account. But um, I'll just say this right now I'm not being paid to promote Charles Schwab. I'm not affiliated with Charles Schwab. I'm not a financial advisor, so whatever I say, don't don't do anything. Just <laughs> I mean, I'm just here for entertainment purposes and just sharing my journey. If your Charles Schwab is actually pretty pretty cool the more you look into it. They were blow they they're very very If you go to their their site and look at what they have to offer, it's actually pretty cool. From compared to from me coming from TD Ameritrade, and that's just what I wanted to say. But I'm not gonna make this video too long for you guys. I'm back in action. I know August, the slow months are behind us. The slow days are behind us. Let's get out of August. Let's get pumped. Be disciplined. Be patient. Let's kick the market's butt. Study these charts. Let's go at it, guys. Let's. End the last part of this year, 2018, on a green note. Let's get it, guys. Let's go, team. Let's go, trading, learning 101. It's late. I got to get to bed. All right, guys. I'm back. Glad to be back. Be patient. Be disciplined. Later.